Well, millions of people will be having fun filling out tournament brackets over the coming days, but one Madison man has a warning. Only News 3's Theo Keats shares that man's story of gambling's dark side. When you let the chips fall where they may, there's a chance the story won't end well. For Robert McWiggin, it didn't. I learned to just kind of temper myself in terms of the game. The fourth seed, Wisconsin Badgers. The third this seed. week is the start of March Madness, the second biggest betting time of the year. McWiggin's love for sports will never be the same. It started with the video games, and it went from the video games to the internet gaming to internet gambling. He had no idea gambling could be an addiction. I learned it too late. I didn't learn it until after my son's death. This is my son, Jason, and these are the other two young men that were with him the day that they uh, were all murdered by an 18-year-old university student who uh, was addicted as well to gambling. A bet on a game, one Jason never placed, got him killed. Since that day in 2003, a lot has changed for Robert McGuigan. They seem very different. What do they have in common? Gambling. ESPN interviewed him, and he's taken his son's story to every school and convention that will have him. I've talked to thousands and thousands of kids, um, and not as many as I need to. And if you say one, that's well worth it. It's my way of honoring my son and not letting his life go in vain. It's a gamble to tell such a personal story, a gamble that's paid off. This has really touched me uh, big time, these letters. They put tears in my eyes. But this time of year, the tears sometimes come back. This is reality. That's what can happen. These three young men are dead over a bed, senseless. That's our Theo Keith reporting. McWiggin preaches to do everything in moderation, including betting on sports. If you or someone you know may have a gambling addiction, you can call the Wisconsin Council on Problem Gambling. That number is 1-800-GAMBLE-5. They can refer you to a number of helpful resources.